lot of people think that good mental health means always feeling happy, but that's not true. Good mental health is about experiencing a whole bunch of emotions, including the comfortable ones and the uncomfortable ones. Both types of feelings are important to good mental health. Here's the thing about mental health. We all have it, it's true. No matter how young or old we are, or where we live in the world, we all have mental health. Good mental health is about being able to handle the challenges in our lives when they come our way. Think of a pyramid with four different parts. Everyone is somewhere on the pyramid, with more people at the bottom and less at the top. In the bottom part, we have no stress or problems, or at least we're not thinking about anything stressful. Everything is going fine, and we're generally enjoying ourselves. Next, we have what's called mental distress. This is often just shortened to the word stress. The stress may come from common challenges, like taking a test, getting to school on time, or getting into a disagreement with a friend. Everyone experiences daily stressors like these. The next part is called a mental health problem. This is when something bigger than everyday stressors happen. Maybe your best friend moves away, or your parents get divorced, or you lose somebody you love. Everyone will face a mental health problem at some point in their life. The top of the pyramid is called a mental disorder, or a mental illness. Not everyone will experience a mental disorder, but some people do. A mental disorder is very different from a mental health problem. Just like our bodies can get sick, sometimes our brains can get sick. When a mental illness happens, people might need special help from a doctor or a counselor. Here's something else. We can move through different parts of the pyramid during the day, and we can even be in more than one spot at the same time. Let's meet Jared to learn more. Jared is 11 years old and in grade six. He lives with his parents, grandma, aunt, and two younger cousins. Oh, and his dog, Ranger. Now, Jared is not a morning person. When he first wakes up on a school day, Jared often worries that he might miss the bus or forget his lunch or that his school project isn't done well enough. Jared has a really hard time controlling these worry thoughts and gets help from the school psychologist. Jared has a mental disorder called generalized anxiety disorder. Recently, Jared's favorite uncle, who always played sports with him, passed away. It's getting a bit better now, but for a while the sadness that Jared felt was so strong it kept him awake at night. Jared isn't alone in his sadness. Everyone in his family really misses his uncle. At school, Jared loves recess. He plays tag, four square, wall ball, soccer, you name it. He's always the first one out on the field, ready to go. Today at recess, something happened though. Jared got into an argument with a friend about the soccer game. The lunch supervisor had to help them work it out, and they feel better about it now, but it sure was stressful at the time. Afterwards, Jared realized that those uncomfortable feelings were telling him that his friendship is important to him. Lately, Jared has discovered that he really likes to color. He's got a pretty great coloring collection. When he's in a quiet space, coloring on his own, he forgets his worries and feels a calm happy throughout his brain and body. All of these parts together are Jared's mental health. He's figuring out that uncomfortable feelings might be telling him important things about himself and how to approach problems. With a little help from adults, he's learning to improve his mental health and build the skills he needs for the next challenge that comes his way.